similar to batik or um, silk painting using a resist so a lot of people yeah, say yeah. they look a bit like silk and then I've got my um, sort of pop art tie-dye hippie nice, retro. nice shorts yeah 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 so this is all using mostly using um, uh, indigo dye yeah. so it sort of reacts with the colors that I use yeah so mm -hmm. this is basically what I'm doing I'm having fun Tell me now. my name's Dee Haddo you do marvellous jobs and whatever. Anyway, so carry on, go for it. It's very different. We are from Bustle and Hospice Care Incorporated, a not-for-profit organisation. We provide um, support to families and patients with palliative diagnosis. And we support them through the Geographe Centre on Craig Street in Bustleton. And we train all the volunteers that support the families in the actual hospice unit in the hospice, in Bustle Health Campus. So um, if anyone's in need, they can come and call us on 9751-1642 or go on our website and you'll find a 1800 number that will help you find some connection. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Well and you done, all do a marvellous job. We couldn't yeah, do without you. Excellent. Wow. Yeah. Just <laughs> Nine, ten! Yee! So should we start? Yeah! Yeah, in the shade, it's a good idea. Yeah. Uh, oh, it's hard work around here. Oh, we haven't started yet. It's not it, okay? It's not ready yet. self <laughs> Right, okay. There is everybody here. Are you here? Good. Are you here? Yeah. You're not here. What's your name, please? Jane. I have to take a roll of people aren't here. Name, please. Pardon? Jane. How old? Eight. When I was your age, I was eight as well. Well, that's amazing. We're like, bro, hey, bro, 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 knuckle me, bro, bro. Jane. Right, okay. Now is everyone ready? Yes. You ready over there? Everyone's ready. Okay, I'm not ready. Here we are in the fodder room. Pat and Sharon. Are we just lining up the paper? Popping the pads down. And through she goes. So what are we doing here, Sharon? Um, so the the print block is going through under pressure, right? Um, and it's got a damp piece of paper over the top of it. And if everything works out well, we get yeah. a lovely print. Well, will you look at that? Ta-da! My name is Russell, I own this 1928 Falcon 9. And uh, so how long have you had it? About 25 years. 25 years. Mm. A labour of love. Yes, very much so. Yeah. Do you actually drive it here? Or? Yeah, 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 yeah. We've had this down in Albany and Perth, doing rallies and stuff, so... 
Lovely. It's Lovely. Okay. And your wife loves it as well, which yeah, makes it a lot easier. Yeah, she loves going in this car. So she's a navigator. Under the leg. Good old under the leg. Okay, here we go. Actually, I'll, I'll put my juggling glasses on. Just when are you going to do the show? I, need to put my... <laughs> I haven't started yet, but I'll start soon. Okay, I've got my official juggling glasses on now. Okay, juggle it. Hang on. Okay, juggling under the leg. Tell us about, about this lovely MG. Yeah, well, she's. Dressed up as Rudolph today, as you can see, but if you look at the number plate, you can see it's an MGY 1950 model. And um, an unusual kind of MG because most of the MGs are sports cars. This car was produced from 1948 to 1952. It was designed before the war, but the war intervened, so it took a while before it went into production. The man that I bought it from lives in Sydney and he had owned the car for 50 years prior to my buying it about seven years ago when I said my my wife and I my wife Margaret yeah, yeah. it's a beautiful car and it attracts a lot of attention yeah, yeah. okay well it's a lovely looking thing thank you That's very for much sure. yeah Alan thank you very much thank you some covers and maybe some Christmas songs. It's a Christmas bazaar. We'll see how we go.